The need to operate combat helicopters in difficult weather conditions and at night necessitated the installation of night vision equipment. Under the leadership of Chief Designer S.V. McKeeve, OJSC Kamov developed a two-seat version of the K-50 in 1994, renaming it the K-52 to address the operational challenges faced by a single pilot operating such systems continuously. Rather than the conventional tandem configuration that is common in combat helicopters worldwide, the designers positioned the second crew member right next to the pilot instead. This configuration increases collaboration during difficult operations, such as low-altitude flight and reconnaissance missions. It also eliminates the necessity of duplicating specific instruments. The helicopter's operational roles and combat applications were significantly improved by the two-seat design. The KA-52 is capable of carrying out combat missions in both normal and adverse weather conditions, day and night, and can employ all of the weapons that were available to its predecessor. It is a command and reconnaissance helicopter that improves the effectiveness of group combat operations by providing aerial reconnaissance, target allocation, and high-precision targeting for both air and ground forces. It may also function as a trainer helicopter for pilots. The design bureau of the Kamov Uktomsky Helicopter Plant built the initial prototype of the two-seat reconnaissance and assault K-52 helicopter in 1994. Two years later, an updated prototype with enhanced glazing, known as Alligator, was introduced. This served as the foundation for the experimental combat helicopter. The K-52's first flight was executed by test pilot A.K. Smirnov on June 25, 1997. It shares approximately 85% of its components with its predecessor. The Sazikin Arsenev Progress Aviation Plant produces it. The Mill and Kamov National Helicopter Manufacturing Center is currently a component of Russian helicopters located in Liubertsy, Moscow region. The Alligator inherits the K-50's rotor system, wings, tail, landing gear, and fuselage structure. The main difference is the modified forward section, which features a two-seat cockpit. The K-37-800 ejection seats place the pilot on the left and the operator on the right. The control levers at both stations are identical, and the central console houses the shared power and system controls. Bulletproof glass and steel and aluminum panels are used to protect the cockpit. The system jettisons upward opening canopy hatches during ejection, facilitating exit. An automatic rotor blade jettisoning mechanism is a notable safety feature of the personnel ejection system, which guarantees a safe evacuation. A new multifunctional avionics suite equips the Cuv 52, enabling low altitude between 10 to 15 meters, terrain following flight capabilities, and precise navigation using inertial and satellite systems. Digital terrain maps are also included. Using data from optical electronic sensors and radar, the helicopter detects, recognizes, and tracks ground, surface, and aerial targets both during the day and at night. The avionics facilitate the targeting and launching of all onboard weapons. Helmet-mounted systems and multifunctional screens are used to display navigation and targeting data. It also aids in the designation of targets for other combat helicopters and artillery systems. The Integrated Optical Electronic Targeting System, Shkval 50, and the piloting system, TOES 520, are critical onboard systems that enable continuous terrain observation. The Arbalet radar system is capable of supporting both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface operations, giving it a ground target range of up to 12 kilometers. The avionics are compatible with weapon systems from both Russia and other countries. Two Klimov VK2500 turboshaft engines, specifically the TV317 VMA SB3 variant, power the Klimov K52 Alligator. The full authority digital engine control system equips each engine, enhancing performance and reliability, with a maximum takeoff capacity of approximately 2,400 horsepower. With this engine configuration, the K-52 can operate efficiently in a variety of environmental conditions, such as hot climates and high altitudes. The K-52 is engineered to perform a diverse array of combat missions, such as pinpoint assaults against both ground and aerial targets, target allocation, and aerial reconnaissance. Its sophisticated avionics suite facilitates operations in bad weather and at night, using night vision goggles to improve visibility.
The helicopter's capabilities have been enhanced by the introduction of the modernized K-52M variant, which boasts a sophisticated sighting system with doubled thermal imaging capabilities. The K-52's weapon system is composed of an integrated fuselage cannon and six wing-mounted hardpoints. The KA-52 is equipped with a 30mm 2A-42 cannon and six wing-mounted hardpoints that can accommodate a variety of munitions, such as anti-tank guided missiles, such as the 9K-13U Sturm VU and the Ataka missile family. The helicopter's versatility in combat scenarios is further boosted by its ability to deploy unguided missiles and cluster munitions. The K-52's operational effectiveness in modern warfare environments is demonstrated by recent reports that emphasize its use at night raids against armored targets. The helicopter's combat capabilities are further improved by the addition of stealth features that reduce its detectability by unfriendly systems. Now, do you think K-52 is the most successful combat helicopter in the world? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.